I guys, am. now is the exciting time for us to hear from the man himself. Those of you who came in a little late, Jeremy's going to be talking to us about ads on Facebook that are currently scaling. And I think this is I think this is something that honestly, bud, we should just be scheduling out every couple months because yep. the landscape of Facebook and other platforms, of course, it changes, you know, by the minute. So um he is, you know, he's he's a good friend, but also he he and you can talk about um the work that you do with some of the bigger clients that everybody is familiar with, but millions of dollars of spend he manages every single month. Um I uh I just I totally and 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 wholly appreciate you, my friend, as a friend, but also as somebody I get to collaborate and work with, and you have been great for us. So the floor is yours. Please go ahead and share your screen and, uh, you know, everybody pay attention and take some notes. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> appreciate that. Um, so as Brett said, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to jump into some ad accounts. Uh, I will kind of talk through some methodology and some things that I look for from the beginning. Um, but I know we only have 10 minutes here. And so I want to use the time uh, as best we can to get in, um, show you some cool things, but then also zoom out and make sure we have time for questions um, because I want to make sure that I can show you um, what's working, but I also want to make sure that we can figure out how to make it work for you or your business or your client's business or whatever you're focused on. So let me jump in here. I'm going to start with a spreadsheet. Uh, it just actually was pulling together a 60-day view for a client uh, going through uh, some creative and copy breakdowns um, that I think would be a good place to start uh, and kind of show generally what um, what are some of the things that I'm looking for here to determine um, ads that are working. So you guys can see my screen? Yes. Cool. Um, so this is this account in the last 60 days has spent 4.5 million. Um, it is definitely pushing um, a ton of scale. <clears throat> this is a B2C high ticket product. Um, average card value is around $3,000. Um, I'll jump in, I'll show you some other things as well. But all of the creatives in the account are coded with creative IDs so that um, when we are testing and we're pushing a lot of scale, we can essentially roll up all of the spend across, say, this V9 creative to understand how this performs. And so within this, of course, V9 is the one that has been pushing um, all of the spend. We have a, a 1.27% click-through rate. Our hook rate, uh, which is this is something I want to chat about more here in a second, uh, is 33%. And then our CPC here is 4.69. So the, the big challenge in this account currently is this CPC. We're, we're pushing, I think on average here, it's closer to seven. Um, and we're really trying to find how do we improve our click-through rate and our hook rate to really get into um, these targets that I have, <clears throat> excuse me, have over here. So we're looking for a 3% or I'm sorry, a $3 cost per click, a 40% hook rate, and 1.5% at least um, click through rate. So let me talk about the hook rate here and why this is important. Um, the hook rate is three second views divided by impressions. And so when Facebook, when, you, when you're advertising on Facebook, it's an auction system. And so um, there are a number of pieces of this auction, but one of the most important pieces is action rate. And expected action rate to be specific. And so that takes into account um, the action that you want them to specifically for here, it's purchase or um, them interacting with the ad. So that's them watching. So that's the hook rate. We wanna stop the scroll and make sure that what we're shooting for is 40% um, of our impressions have a three second view. Um, and then of course, clicking to read more and things like that. And so what we've found is that if we can, and this isn't just across this account, this is mainly across the board, uh, if we can hit these benchmarks here, Facebook seems to give preferential treatment to us in the auction. So we see better conversion rates, we see lower CPCs, 
we see even better CPMs and things like that. And so that's why I've isolated this down. I think there's something like 74 videos here in the last, um, yeah, 74, um, 74 videos in the last 60 days. Um, and this is how we're evaluating performance on a weekly basis uh, to really make sure that we're trying to move this here uh, because we do have to get this up, um, this spend up some. So let me let me pause there for a, a really hot second. I threw maybe some new terminology and stuff at you. Any questions on on these numbers? No? Good. Good. Awesome. Um, cool. So now I want to I want to jump into um, some ad accounts and, and show you a few different ads because I think it's important here um, to look at what influences these metrics. What are we What are we uh, doing to try to get these into the right uh, performance zones? Awesome. So let's. Uh, yeah, we can start here. Um, and so this is um, this is for an, an EMF um, necklace. And so we've done a lot of different testing. Um, I do want to, um, this creative here was the top performer for a long time. So I'm gonna play this and then I'll show the, the current top performer. There's this little pendant, which I love. This is a EMF protecting pendant. And I have to say, I'm sleeping better since I've been wearing it. I'm not getting as much brain fog. In one minute, all of your biofield, it'll start to smooth out and allows your cells to work more optimal. I was significantly impressed at what I saw it do. You're talking minutes. Their heart health had changed. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause that there because... Um, you know, we, we've taken a fair amount of time of the viewer's time here. And so um, I want to show the current control because it heads in a different direction. And I think it's a, a really important point that um, I want to chat through. And there you go, yellow. And it doesn't move, it's in the yellow area. It's almost all yellow. Okay, let's check EMF at 60 hertz, 22, there you go, it's going down, and now he's down to 21, 20, he's slowly going <laughs> down on EMF in 60 hertz. There's this little pendant, which I love. Cool, um, so let me pause there, I do want to ask, um, what is what is the main, uh, and, and by, the, by the way here, going back to those metrics, we have a 52% um, hook rate on this compared to, uh, what was this? This was at 30, which wasn't terrible. A 7% click-through rate all. Click-through rate all is them clicking to read more, um, going into the comment section, anything like that. But we have a 2.4% um, outbound click-through rate. And we see a much, much, much higher conversion rate um, on this ad. So from the beginning here, what does anybody notice that is different? There's just a ton of curiosity. Like it just, things aren't really explained, but I want to know what's happening. It also looks like they're measuring something scientific, but I don't know what. And so I want to find out more. Whereas the first one is a straight up testimonial. I use this thing. I'm getting great results. You probably want to try it out too. That's great. This one's like, what the hell are they doing? Why? Like, what is this? I want to learn more. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, I'll show this in some some other ads here in a second, but um, what I'm finding is any sort of demonstration or kind of infotainment value first uh, is really important. Um, for this one specifically, uh, I think there's a lot of skepticism. I think there's a lot of objections you have to overcome uh, from the very beginning. And so uh, showing the, the kind of the product in action um, way before we even get to what the product is, what it does, why it does it, all of those different things. We're drawing them in with, with real proof that whatever you are about to learn actually works. And so um, let me hop into this account. Um, this is a completely different style of um, product, but 
um, we do have some, some similarities here. So from a hook rate, um, this one's sitting at uh, 45%. Uh, we have a 2.72% uh, um, click-through rate and a uh, dollar and thirty cents uh, link click. So this is hitting a lot of the metrics. You can see here. There's certainly ads that are and are not. This was um, previously the control. Stop doing this when you wash your face. If you're drying your face with a towel, stop. I see the effects of this all the time. Deep wrinkles, accelerated aging, uneven skin tone. Bath towels can be a massive bacteria trap. Ew. All that bacteria is going straight into your pores, making your skin look older in the long run. Now, I'm not going to tell you to change your whole skincare routine, because as long as you do this one thing after washing your face, you can actually help your skin look younger, firmer. Cool. Um, and so this takes, this takes a... Um, something that people do every day and calls out something that they're likely unaware of, um, as well as it knocks down a number of objections right from the very beginning. You hear them go through, here are the, the problems that it causes. Now I'm not going to ask you to change your whole routine or do this or do that. But if you do this one thing, which we still don't know what it is, um, and so it's drawing them in again with... Um, both of these ads too have a lot of credibility right from the get-go. In the first one, you don't know who that that doctor is, or but it looks like it has authoritative um, presence to him. Same with this doctor here. So let me show you one other one. Here's another. This is almost the new control. Not we also have two accounts here, so this is just one of them. This is the real way to hide wrinkles. As a plastic surgeon, people are shocked when I tell them, stop covering your wrinkles. When you cover fine lines with makeup, the product ends up settling into the wrinkles, making deep creases look even more obvious. It's like your wrinkles are wearing a big sign saying, look at me. See, when we look at wrinkles, what we're really seeing is the shadow inside. Um, so again, all, all of uh, these three last winning ads that I've, I've shown, um, all of them start with an edu educational component or an information-based component before we ever get to the specific um, product, what it is, and, and why they should care. And I think the, the really important piece here is that a lot of people um, immediately look through the lens of like click-through rate. I just want people to see an ad and immediately click off of the platform. Um, but what we've found time and time again is that we can still get better click-through rates by having them consume the content. <clears throat> we get better CPCs. You get much better conversion rates and much better average order values as well. So net-net, um, where I think a lot of people uh, miss the mark is instead of going into a testimonial or an, an influence or talking about a product or whatever it is, um, People do want to be educated, and that's the first way to get get them to start to understand why your product matters, and then bring them into the product. <clears throat> so let me pause there. Happy to to jump around, do anything else if you want to see like account setups, anything like that. But uh, I just really wanted to focus on these ads uh, because I think it's important, uh, especially in kind of the high CPM times around Black Friday, Cyber Monday. How do we combat these? Um, and as you can see, none of these ads currently are running any sort of Black Friday sale. They're really focused on um, the normal offer of these products.